Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Eat Smoke Drink. In this episode we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to side by side straight away two really known drams. Okay, uh, these two drams, it's not something that you see in the shop all the time. It's called, the, the distillery is called Fetican. Fetican is a Highland distillery. Fetican is actually an extremely old distillery. It's almost 200 years old. Can you believe that? 1824, I believe. 200 years old, almost. And Fetican, their style is generally ultra crisp, ultra clean, cleanly distilled whiskey. The spirit is um, distilled in a way where it's just super, super clean. And um, they're owned by White Mackay. And most of the spirit goes to blended whiskies around the world. Now, it's not every day you see feta can in a single malt expression like this. I have a sample bottle of the Caden Head, independently bottled, 2008-2018, nine-year-old whiskey, and that is 57.8%. And I have Caden Head bottling at 56.7, 11-year-old. So it's good to side by side to see what the development is like. And these are Caden Head barrelings as well. So a uh, Caden Head bottlings, which means that it's generally quite um, consistent in terms of side by side, so I thought it would be quite interesting. They're both bourbon hogs head. One is three barrels blended into one, um, and the other one is from memory two, two bourbon hogs head um, blended into one. So let's get tasting. Now, first and foremost, the impression that I get, the color is extremely light. Golden, almost like, it looks like an apple juice tequila type of thing, okay? Very, very light. If you can see that my producer will just let you focus on the color there. Yeah, okay. So very, very light in color. And let's get tasting. I'm gonna put water as a secondary thing because I wanna side by side at full strength and then add water to see how it changes. So, so what I've done is the order of this is exactly how the bottles are laid out. Nine year old and the 11 year old. Okay, so. I, I needed to make sure because the color is so similar, the color is so similar that I needed to make sure I keep tabs on that. So let's get nose in first and foremost. Mm, you can really smell the alcohol in that. In fact, it's, it's hard to get past the alcohol to begin with. Clear bourbon um, barrel influence. I'm getting vanilla, white pepper, a slight sweetness, a sickly coconut, sickly coconut on the nine year old. But there's not much there. The alcohol is just quite burny and stingy. But it's a pleasant smell, don't get me wrong. It's, um, but it's very... I'm getting a slight kind of... Um, a biscuity cereal note on that now. I'm getting a biscuity cereal note Kind of a brown sugar, like a, you know, straight out of the pack brown sugar, like you put on a spoon. Quite sweet. And a, an, an unknown spice, I don't know what it is. Very, very small hint of jasmine. I'm getting a bit of floral notes there. I'm getting a bit of jasmine now. So the more you you, 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 you swirl it, your nose gets used to that smell a bit more. So, um, yeah, nice and pleasant taste. No, a, a smell. Let's go to the 11. Oh, wow, the, the difference is, the difference is a massive, actually, between the two. I mean, look, there is still the alcohol smell, but I'm getting it almost, as funny as it sounds, I mean, I'm getting the bourbon, the bourbon influence on this, but I'm getting a very clear, as funny as it sounds, a tequila influence, but it, there's no tequila influence, but I'm getting kind of that tequila, you know, that earthiness of the tequila, that leafiness, the earthiness of the tequila. I'm getting that very clearly. No floral notes. I'm getting a bit of um, spice in there, I don't know what it is, could be nutmeg. Brown sugar, fudge, I'm getting like a, 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 like a, like a Russian fudge. 
buttery, slightly buttery, oily. I think that's from the fudge. Does fudge have butter? I think it might, I don't know. But yeah, fudge, definitely that fudge taste there. Caramel. And I'm getting like a, a spiciness, like a zing. Almost the white pepper, similar in both, but I'm getting kind of like a ginger almost, a ginger root. But not much floral there. On the back end, a little bit, but not much. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. That is fiery. That is fiery. Oh, it's a bit of a hit in the mouth, uh, to be honest with you. Um, whew, that is fiery. I, I immediately get a bitterness to it. Uh, the bitterness that I associate with New Make Spirit, uh, a very young whiskey. Um, I don't think the barrel was overly active. Um, I'm getting, I mean, my, my overwhelming impression of it is bitterness. Stringency, dry, slight sweetness, very spicy, hot in fact. Uh, I'm struggling to actually get much more flavor because it's so kind of, um, this, the spirit is so new make, like a vodka-like flavor. But if I, um, but, yeah, the floral comes through the back of the nose. If you really pay attention, but if you don't, all you'll feel is the burn and the alcohol. In saying that though, it is very, very clean. The alcohol is very smooth. Um, almost, um, it's got almost like a stainless steel sensation, like a stainless steel taste, which is really bizarre, uh, but very clean, but unfortunately too clean that it doesn't have much character. I can't get much out of there. I mean, I'm trying hard, a little bit of vanilla, um, I can taste the wood, but it, it's, it seems very underdeveloped. And the nine-year-old to me, I, from the get-go, I will tell you right now that nine-year-old is a little bit too young. In saying that though, uh, the, the, the bottle is cheap, so I'll go through that later, but it's a little bit too young. Um, wouldn't really be my first, my first option. So let me just, I'm just drinking water, just to clean the paddle a little. <clears throat> Let's try the 11. There's like a, um, a really weird smell coming out now, actually, now that, it's been swirled almost like a bit of a sick, um, like a, a sickly, a sickly smell, uh, like a sickly smell to it. Uh, I mean, the other day when I was trying this, um, we, we concluded that it's a little bit of like um, a yogurt or a, a kefir. It's a little bit, a little bit kind of, whoa, like really to the nose, like a really sharp sweetness, like a really sharp sweetness. Okay, I can tell you right now that that does not have the burn and the pain that the nine-year-old has, okay? Does that two years difference, the two years difference is massive. I'm getting definitely a spice, ginger, white pepper, a slight sweetness in the back. Still, I can still taste that bitterness of the new make spirit, but by, by no measure it is anything like the nine. The 11 is definitely much tamer in terms of the New Max Spirit Burn. I'm getting a slight sweetness, vanilla, coconut, uh, sick, like a slightly sickly sweet taste in the back of my, my throat. I can't put my uh, finger on. It is still clean. Mm. Mouth feel is quite extreme. Um, jasmine on the nose, like a jasmine flower, not jasmine tea, jasmine flower that I'm getting really, really strongly. And I'm getting a bit more cereal and bready notes with the 11 year old as well. Which is nice, earthiness, bready notes, cereal notes, which is quite nice and pleasant. Now let's add a little bit of water. Okay. So I'm gonna first rinse my mouth. Make sure that, I'm just gonna put two drops in each. <coughs> So let's nose it side by side. With water, the nose tames dramatically on the nine-year-old, dramatically. I mean, 
I'm not picking up much of the nose there. With the 11 year old, I'm getting ripe pineapple. And the tequila note is really coming through strongly. It's, it's weird actually. I mean, if you smelt it, you could mistake it for tequila to be completely frank. Ripe pineapple, tequila, the jasmine comes through a bit more, the floral note, cereal notes, you can get that. Interesting. But with a nine, not much. A little bit of the cereal note, a little bit of jasmine, but it tames down a lot. It's always interesting when you do side by side like this because same distillery, same independent bottler, just different years. Two years, all it took. So let's have, let's have, let's have a try. Mm. With water, the nine year old tames down. It's almost palatable. <laughs> it's just, the nine year old is so rough, it's so fiery and rough that that's what I'd say. It's almost palatable with water. But the, the general taste, the general finish, and the notes are very similar to, to without water, except that the, except the, the, uh, the, the, the new make spirit is more subdued which is great because that was just like it was just very off-putting so you know the finish it's it's relatively complex very clean but very almost too clinically clean uh, like i said it reminds me of stainless steel i don't know why but it just reminds me of stainless steel let's nose the 11 year old of water i'm getting soily earthiness a lot more with water the floral subsides a little bit. Ginger, vanilla comes through a little bit more. A butteriness comes through a little more, like a buttered toast. Fudge. Comes through a little bit more. Now let's try the 11 with the water. Mmm. Now you can probably be looking at me going, what are you doing? What I'm doing is I'm actually swirling quite a lot, I'm using my tongue to press it in the back of the roof of my mouth, all the teeth and the gums and everything to coat my entire mouth with a spirit. Because I want to get the mouth feel, I want to get the flavor. With the water, the 11 year old actually improves a lot, dramatically. Uh, the, the new make spirit almost disappears and you're starting to get more of those cereal notes, the earthiness, a little bit of leaf litter, uh, the caramel comes through a lot more. The, the, the fudge, the, the, the fudge comes through a lot more, the, the butteriness, the oiliness actually comes through a lot more. And with the water, it's not so clean. Uh, with the water, it actually dirties it up a little bit, which is really good. Unless you want really clean, then that's not good, but it does dirty up the whiskey a little bit more, and it does let it shine a lot more. A spice in the end actually comes out more with water. A ginger spice comes out with, a, uh, with the water. A little bit of, yeah, like that, that ginger burn, that, that finish comes through a lot more. So in conclusion, which will I recommend and why? Just give you a little background. Uh, Caden Heads is owned by Springbank. They're an independent bottler and uh, it's an arm of Springbank Distillery. So, you know, uh, Springbank is a very small, old fashioned kind of distillery. And Caden Head, when they get the barrels, they mostly store it in their own facility, their own warehouse. And a lot of the times it's Dunnage warehousing as well. So you always get that character of their Dunnage warehousing. Now I'm sure some of them will come in and they just barrel it straight away after barrel selection. But uh, I believe they, they store it on site quite a lot. So the influence of that, you know, you might have a feta can from another bottler or the distillery bottling of feta can if you can find it, which is quite rare. Um, then you know the, the, the taste might be a little bit different but in this case the nine-year-old is just too young it's too fiery however it's probably sub hundred dollars it's probably about seventy dollars us or a hundred dollars us so value for money look i don't think it's really that good value for money the nine-year-old what i like about caden head is that they price their bottles very in a very civilized manner so for a nine-year-old this is very cheap it's designed to kind of get you to try a particular distillery that you haven't tried before perhaps Maybe they tasted the barrel and go, you know what, there's a, there's, this barrel isn't going to give any more. And it doesn't. I don't think it's going to give any more. Tasting this, if they can keep it for another 10 years, I don't think it's going to give any more. So, would I recommend a 9-year-old? No. Would I recommend gambling 9-year-old drams from Caden Head? Yes, because I've had some spectacular ones, some really interesting ones. But this particular one, if you find it, don't go for it. Water or no water, 
doesn't help. The 11 year old, this is only another about 20 bucks more. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I would actually, because I think that it's not every day you come across a fitter can. And I think that this is actually quite an interesting dram. I wouldn't, it's not something that I'd sit on all night and drink a few drams of. One or two is enough for me and maybe move on to something else a little heavier, something a little bit more robust. But as, a, as, a, as an appetizer, I think that the feta can is actually not bad. I prefer it with water because it just subdues that alcohol, it subdues the new max spirit. And I think that it's worthwhile. Now, cigar pairing. What would I recommend to pair with these two drams? Any cigar will be fine. Um, I mean, in saying that, I would say a heavy, heavy Maduro, triple Maduro would actually be quite good because it is quite crisp. It could balance out the Maduro sweetness and you get some of the sweetness from here. It could complement each other quite well. So for cigar pairing, I'd say something heavy, uh, something oily could actually be quite good. But hey, if that's not your cup of tea, I think that this is quite a universal whiskey as long as you add some water into it. And dare I say it, if you like ice, maybe one small piece of ice. But in saying that, I think um, you're wasting the interest factor of this whiskey with ice. I think a, a few drops of water is going to be your best bet. So thank you for joining me today. And if you uh, like my reviews, please ask your questions. Have you tried the Feta Can? Do you have anything you want me to review? I'll see if I can get them. I'll see if I can, you know, get, get some reviews in for you. And then I'll tag you as well to make sure that you know. Subscribe, hit that bell, and see you next time. Thank you.